Hey everybody and welcome back to He Works Hard for the Honey. Um, we just finished up an inspection from the state with State Apiarist Jen Lund. Um, please check out that interview to come. Uh, but what we did find, we got a clean bill of health, everything looks excellent. Uh, what we did find was Hive 1 here has a fully formed queen cell and I'm going to try to pull that out and show you uh, and from what we could tell the queen that came with this nuke yeah they don't like it when you accidentally crush them uh, the queen that came with this nuke um, seemed to come with a bad leg um, she's not sort of able to put any weight on it. She's kind of, uh, all right, nobody's happy with me. I know, I know. Um, so, uh, that gives us a couple options here. And, Nothing's going right right now, so I'm going to just throw up a layer of smoke everywhere and see if I can get us back to zero, but um, So this gave us a couple options and uh, what I think we're going to end up doing much sooner than I had planned so none of my boxes are painted nothing's but um I'm gonna be taking the old queen who's marked in here um, the one that they seem to be looking to replace and put her in a nuke box. We're gonna shake in some bees, we're gonna put them over in the corner, and we're gonna let the queen cell in here hatch, um, get mated, and if everything's looking good, then we've got um, a split and a full hive much sooner than we had planned. Uh, and if this queen has trouble, in here we can just do like we did last year kind of take her out and squish her and reintroduce the old queen um, and see if that doesn't feel like a better fit let me try to put this somewhere where it's not gonna fall over much better much better all right here is the pollen patty that we had placed in there I know where my queen cell is, so I'm actually going to try to avoid moving that one around so that I don't end up breaking the cell. Oh, these girls may be a little testy given that I've already been in this box with company today. But what I'm going to be looking for is my marked queen and going to be pulling off some of these queen cups here. I'm really hoping the queen is not going to end up being on the same frame that the queen cell is on. Although I just feel like will be my luck. 
No, good. Where is it? All right. So the queen cell, trying to get some light in here, guys, which you see is sort of a finger-like cell right there above my finger. And they need that extra room uh, for the nutrition that it, it requires to be a queen. The, the only difference between a queen and every other bee in the hive, uh, essentially, besides the drones, which are, are the only males, are that queens are raised completely on uh, royal jelly, whereas all the other bees are given royal jelly for the first three days and then switched over. And we got my queen here. So I'm going to transport her to the middle here. good frame of brood, which I think may end up being this one. I want some, some eggs, some brood, some larvae. And I am sort of unfortunately uh, also going to be taking some of the honey here. And, you know, I realize what I'm doing is, is I mean, at this point, just robbing this hive blind. Um, So I, as we speak, have some uh, two to one syrup. Ah, that's a brood frame. Not honey as I had hoped. Is some pollen and some nectar in here. So we are gonna squeeze them in. And we are gonna place them uh, over in the corner. We are gonna replace couple of frames in here that we just took out and what we're gonna do is take that other hive over into the corner uh, we're gonna let the queen in this hive um, hatch uh, and see if she becomes well mated, if she starts um, sort of laying eggs, then we are good to go. And if not, um, then all we really have to do is take her 
uh, squish her like we did with the queen in the hot hive last year. I want to make sure. And uh, reintroduce the original queen. And we'll be good to go. Get these. I'm having a really hard time with this and they uh, because this is the second time I'm in the hive in a very short amount of time I think are just done with me but I am gonna come back with some syrup for this hive to try to help them rebound from the the frames I've just taken Uh, but even before I do that, I'm going to walk my new nuke uh, a few feet in that direction. And, uh, and place them down and we will have our first split of the season. So join me over there in a moment.